The goal of this video is simple. I'm going to show you the easiest way to flash Edge TX on your radio. We'll start out by taking the USB-C cable and plugging it into the top of the radio. Notice the radio is off and when I plug it in I get this Knight Rider light routine up top and the light settles right over here on the left hand side. That's step number one. Step number two, on your desktop you need to open a Chrome based browser, so Google Chrome works great. You'll go to buddy.edgetx.org, link is in the description. If you want to use a pre-release version, click on the filters right here and put a check mark under include pre-releases. And then for the firmware version you want, just select that in the drop down. I want version 2.10 release candidate 4. And then for my radio model, I'm using a TX16S. I'll simply scroll down to the bottom. If your radio is not in this list, it's not supported. So we'll click the radio, flash via USB, add device, and you want to look for STM bootloader. In my case, it's right here at the top, STM bootloader. I'll hit connect, hit next, and start flashing. Once you see that connected message at the top, you're good to go. If you've never connected an STM32 bootloader device and installed a driver for your computer, I'll have a video in the description on how to do that for Windows. For Macintosh, you don't need to install any drivers. It works right out of the box. And that's it. When the flashing done indicator shows on your screen, you can disconnect the radio. And then when you turn the radio on, you'll be greeted with a new install of Edge TX. And in my case, well, I've got a checklist applied there. In my case, it is 2.10 release candidate 4 right there. And that's all you need to know to install Edge TX on your radio using buddy.edgetx.org in a Chrome browser. Since you stuck around this long, I'm going to show you another option. You can actually download Buddy as an application. So if you don't have a Chrome browser or you don't want to use a Chrome browser, you can download Buddy as an app and install it from your desktop. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. I'm going to do that by reconnecting the radio. And then we'll switch back over to the desktop. And in the browser that you use, go to the Edge TX GitHub, and on the right-hand side, you'll see an option right here for Buddy. If you click on that and then scroll down to the bottom, there's a link right here that says Download the App. When you click on that, you're presented with a couple of options, App Image, D-Image, MSI, and Snap. If you're on Windows, use MSI. If you're on Mac, use the D-Image. So I'll download the D-Image, save it to my Downloads folder, and then once that's done, I'll open that Downloads folder up, and we'll open this D-Image. And then we'll drag the Edge TX Buddy application into the Applications folder. And since I've already got it, my computer's complaining that I'll have to replace it, so I'll go ahead and hit Replace. And then you can close that window. And then in your Applications folder, look for Edge TX Buddy, which is right here, and we'll launch that. And Mac will probably complain Edge TX Buddy cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. What you have to do here, because of Mac security, is hit Cancel. And then you're going to open up your system settings and go down to privacy and security. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see Edge TX Buddy was blocked from use because it was not from an identified developer. Then you'll hit open anyway. And then you can use your password. Go ahead and type that in. And I'll use my Apple Watch to approve that. And then I'll hit open. And once I've done that, now finally, thanks Mac for making that challenging we'll get the Edge TX Buddy application. And in full disclosure, it does take a little time for the first launch to occur. I don't know what's going on there, but it does take a little bit of time. After that though, it's pretty straightforward. The next thing you'll do, just like on the web version, you'll click on filters if you want to use a pre-release version, which I do. And then I'll click on 2.10 release candidate 4. I'll choose my radio model being a TX16S. I'll hit flash via USB. There's my STM bootloader. We'll click on that and hit next and then start flashing. And again, once you see connected DFU connection active, that's all you need. It'll download the binary, erase your existing version, and then flash just like we saw on the web version. 
Thanks to the Edge TX developers for making all these different options available. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.